Welcome to AS Engineering College. Myself, Mohammad Khadir, Assistant Professor, Civil Engineering Department, and my colleague, Mr. T. Nagasreno, Assistant Professor, Civil Engineering Department. Today, we are here to discuss about an experiment using the instrument Total Station. So, Total Station is a modern instrument, modern surveying instrument, right? In this, which includes faster and precise, accurate work. So modern surveying instrument. So what is the difference between modern surveying and conventional instrument? So in the conventional instrument, we were using chain and tape for measuring the linear measurements and where we, and whereas we were using a prismatic compass or a surveyor compass and an ordinary theodolite for angular measurements. So this modern instrument is going to replace all the conventional equipments and the work is becoming faster and the accuracy level is also more. So that is what the advantage of total station we are going to use. We are having different types of modern instruments, right? In that we are having number one as EDM instrument and number two as total station and number three as DGPS. So in this, we are having two equipments in our laboratory, total station as well as DGPS. So coming to total station in, the, in our laboratory, we are having different exercises on the total station such as calculation of area using total station, finding the angular measurements using total station, remote elevation method, remote distance methods and stakeout. So, okay, today I am going to explain about remote distance measurement practically. So before discussing about the exercise, so let us demonstrate about the temporary adjustments which are going to perform before taking the measurements with the help of total station. So the temporary adjustments for this instrument are centering, leveling and elimination of parallax. First set the instrument on the tripod and then by help of uh, these foot screws level the instrument such that the bubble should be at the center so now we have a ground point exactly over that point our instrument should be set so here leveling and centering should be done parallelly for accuracy So if you look at the screen, you can observe the bubble is at the center. It means the instrument is completely leveled. Now it's time to eliminate the parallax error. So it is different from person to person. It depends upon our eyesight. So we need to adjust this eyepiece as per our eyesight to clearly visible to the object. After temporary adjustments are done, now the instrument is ready to take the measurements. So the first step is to creation of file. So how to create the file in the total station? So if you observe the display here, so it is having S function, nothing but special function under the functional key of F4. So if you press that, automatically the menu will come. So in that menu, we have to navigate to the file, seventh one that is the file. So if we give enter, it will open and uh, you can see the option create under functional key F5, right? So, so like that, you can create a file and you can give the name to the file from the alphanumeric keyboard which is, which is attached to the display. So now we have three modes of measurement in this instrument. So they are first one is prism mode. Okay. So in this prism mode, we use the prism, which is this one. So this prism is kept at a target point and we 
directly bisect the center of this prism for accurate measurement. So second one is non-prism mode. So if you press F2 which is target the mode will automatically change from prism to non-prism mode. Right? And third one is sheet mode. So this sheet mode we use when we are measuring a point at the reflected surfaces. So after completing the centering part, leveling part and creation of the file, we are going to measure the distances between the block 1, right? I will be on the top of the corner and this is the administration block. So we are going to measure the horizontal distance between these two buildings by using RDM, Remote Distance Measurement. So now here, first uh, go to special function and uh, on the first one, pro. So you can see the third option as RDM. So navigate to that option, RDM, and then give enter. So now the display is asking the reference point, nothing but the first point. Now, as I am using non-prism mode, directly I am bisecting the corner of that building with the help of EDM. So now the first point is bisected and measured. Similarly, now we are bisecting the second target point and will measure that point. So after bisecting second point, if we give measure, I think that I am pressing F1, directly horizontal distance between those two inaccessible points, nothing but remote points, is displayed here. What is the distance here? You can see it is 31.972 meters is the distance between those two inaccessible points. So now we are completed the measurement of remote distance measurement between those two inaccessible points with the help of the total station. So you have seen the experiment right RDM. So using the total station we have completed this experiment within 3 to 5 minutes. The same experiment if we are doing with the con conventional method right we have to use the different operations of trigonometric leveling by using an ordinary through the light and we have to take the horizontal angles between the two station points and we have to do the manual calculation for this work so thus that becomes the tedious work and it takes time consuming so this is what the advantage of total station so it is reducing the time and the accuracy is more right thank you